Remember this? You wish to rob me? Oh, it's, it's because all I carry is a shield, huh? Well, what you don't know is that it hides my gun. You got me, it's just a toy. But the real purpose was simply to distract you so I can draw my real gun. So how about you pay up now? There are no new ideas. Of course, somebody thought of combining a shield with a gun almost 500 years ago. Let's take a look at how that turned out. The design was a little bit more down-to-earth than the one-eyed shield from Elden Ring, but gun shields existed in history. Unmistakably, there's the gun barrel right there. These were a bit of a short-lived fad, if you will, in the early and mid-16th century. The last known gun shield was made in 1560 to 70. The total number is uncertain. There are 46 or 47 examples preserved. This here is one of 35 made for the bodyguard of King Henry VIII, as mentioned in the inventory of the Tower of London in 1547 as targets steeled with guns. Now we think of a targe as a specific type, but back then target was the general name for a shield. Uh, it's convex, made of two layers of wood strips at right angles that were covered with iron or steel. It used to have a padded fabric backing in red and yellow and leather straps. The matchlock pistol is missing, you can still see where it was attached, where the barrel would stick out. Speaking of armored guns, this video is sponsored by War Thunder, which you can play for free on PC, Xbox One, or Series X and S, PS4 and 5. It's the most extensive vehicular combat game with over 2,000 planes, helicopters, tanks, and ships from over 100 years of military tech starting in the 1920s. The vehicle models are extremely detailed, built with immersion in mind. Also functionally, they don't have general hit points, but actually take damage to components or crew, as shown by the damage x-ray. That's something I like in particular, the good kind of realism that adds something to the gameplay. It also looks cool with its impressive destruction, fire and smoke effects. Despite the complexity, the controls are not complicated. You can intuitively control aircrafts with keyboard and mouse. Play it for free through my link in the description below. When registering on PC through this link, you get a large free bonus pack, which includes premium vehicles, boosters and other perks. Check it out. What blew my mind is this thing used breech loading steel cartridges, ironically combined with match ignition. In other words, a smoldering rope held by a serpentine, which you had to push onto the flash pan by hand. Uh, the first self-contained cartridge was created in 1808, and the breech-loading Sharps rifle still used paper cartridges until 1863. So this gun shield had steel cartridges in the mid-16th century. That's remarkably ahead of its time. So you would open it with this lever here, which is not a trigger, by the way, insert the cartridge, close it, and then, as said, you have a smoldering match there. This gun shield has smaller conical bosses, which I'm assuming were probably intended to increase the chance of deflecting bullets, because this was not only the first gun shield, it was also the first ballistic shield. So it was intended to provide cover from enemy gunfire and give you the opportunity to return fire as well. It's said that a Henry VIII-like technology sure seems like it. Generally, these shields were roughly 40 to 50 centimeters in diameter or 17 to 19 inches, and they weighed around 4.8 kilograms, which is 10 pounds and 9 to 10 ounces. So rather hefty for the size. I've read that they were supposedly too heavy to wield and aim, and they did weigh almost twice as much as this Highland Targe of the same size. There were much heavier shields in history, like the Greek Aspis or the Roman Scutum, for example, but those were at least two times larger. To be fair, 16th century firearms were not exactly lightweight, but at least they had a long barrel, which allowed you to hit accurately at distances of more than, say, 10 meters. Some say they couldn't be used without resting them on something. I was thinking they could be handheld with some support from something like a guiche strap. And there is an example of a collapsible bulletproof shield from 1924 that did exactly this. So you had a strap slung around your body to give it some extra support so you could hold it with one hand and then 
basically you're also supporting it with the other hand because you're holding the firearm which is connected to the shield. However, there is apparently evidence to indicate that they were fired from a fixed position, not handheld, and uh, signs of damage and repair suggest that they weren't actually durable enough to withstand repeated recoil from firing. So eventually the shield would just tear itself apart basically with use, which presumably is the main reason why they were so short-lived and weren't used permanently. Speaking of quality, this is a gun shield purchased for Henry VIII from an Italian merchant in 1544. Apparently the Italian made models were generally of higher quality craftsmanship. At least some of the English gun shields were converted regular shields. This one is interesting because it looks like it has mail in between here. Maybe it's something else that's a little bit difficult to say and I couldn't find a more detailed description of this shield that tells us exactly what. Uh, but either way, they usually have either a hole or this sort of grill here for looking through and aiming with it. As much as you can aim with this is another question. I also found a more recent pistol shield from India, 1831 to 1870, but that's at the Royal Armouries Museum, and they seem to be fairly strict with their copyright, so that's why I'm not showing it, but I'm linking it down below. The weight, by the way, is 3.4 kilograms, so that one is a bit lighter than the, the English and Italian gun shields. So it's kind of wild that Elden Ring's one-eyed shield, although a little more outlandish in design, actually has a historical counterpart. Maybe not all that surprising, because if you have guns and you have shields, it seems pretty plausible to combine them to have mobile cover. But it's a good thing that Elden Ring's gun shield uses magical shenanigans instead of matchlock ignition, because that's a little bit quicker and more reliable. Also really interesting that they went with this folding mechanism here so that the, the gun part actually stores away in the shield so you can use the shield more easily by itself. So pretty smart design, except it's hella thick. Like when, if the originals were heavy, this is 10 times worse. This thing is so thick it looks like it weighs 20 kilos if not more. Thanks again to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to grab the welcome package with plenty of bonuses through the link in the description below. I hope you found this interesting and entertaining. Thanks for watching and take care, folks.